Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, I'm be reacting to how quick man asked Christian Pastor about salvation. Then this happened. Guys, I saw the video on YouTube and I was like, I really clicked it, but I was like, nah. Let me check this out on my channel because I really want to know what happened, guys. Like, I really want to know. Guys, let's go straight into this. This Catholic man right here. I'm a Catholic. I've been a Catholic all of my life. Asks this Christian pastor. Uh, that's a very good question, Charlie. A question about salvation. And something amazing happens after the pastor answers the question. You understand the gospel, right? The way I explained it. Now, without any further delay, let's listen to the question. Hi, um... I'm a Catholic. I've been a Catholic all of my life. That's 75 years. The question I'm going to ask is a very, very basic and has been bothering me for many, many years of my adult life. Do the billions of non-Christian denomination, I'm talking about the Jewish, the Buddhist, the sure. Confucius, Mormons, and so forth, that truly believe in their faith, that that lived a very good life according to their faith. My question is, is there salvation a heaven for them or are they all condemned to hell? Yeah, that's a very good question. What's your name? Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Chet Simmons. Now, although the Catholic man claims that it's a simple question, however, that question right there is so often misunderstood by millions of people who are involved in religion. And we will see that later in the video. Why can't there be multiple gods that we can believe in and why can't there be multiple ways good. into heaven now let's get to the pastor's answer to the question uh, that's a very good question charlie um, that the answer to that from the word of god is they they will all perish in hell because there is only one way to go to heaven there is no salvation in any other name than the name of jesus christ Jesus said, you will die in your sins to the Jewish leaders because you believe not on me. Because you believe not on me. John 3, 16, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish. There is only one heaven and there's only one way into heaven. And that is through faith in Christ. It, it is... Um, it is the only hope. That is why we are told to go to the ends of the earth, preach the gospel to every creature. Now this is such a clear and concise theological and biblical answer. This is what theologians call the exclusivity of the gospel. There is no other name, there's no other way, there's no other truth, there's no other person who can give you life but Christ in Christ alone. That is why the apostles say in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. There are a lot of people who claim that there are other ways that lead to heaven, that lead to God, but it's all lies, damning lies that will damn you to hell. Your only hope, as Pastor John MacArthur says, as he refers to the Bible, is by believing on Him, that is Jesus Christ. So all who perish, without the knowledge of Christ, die in their sins, and go everlastingly to hell. Now, the degree of punishment in hell will vary, but what makes it vary is not the goodness of the person, because no person is good before God. No person. But. Only God is good. Jesus said that. No person is good. No person is good enough to earn heaven. The only difference in hell will be that the people who heard about Jesus Christ and rejected Him will have a greater punishment than the people who didn't hear about Him. They will all be punished, but those who knew about Christ and didn't receive Christ will have the greater punishment. That's Hebrews. How much sorer or greater will be the punishment on those who trampled underfoot the blood of the covenant and counted the work of Christ, as it were, an unholy thing, rejected Christ. Now, the other thing to say is this. But even if you believe in Christ, even if you believe in Christ as God and Christ dying on the cross and Christ being raised from the dead and Christ being Lord and all of those things, that may not be enough to get you into heaven either. Because in Matthew 7 it says, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we did this in your name and that in your name, and he'll say, I depart, depart from me, I never knew you. So you can know about Christ 
And you can know that He lived a holy life and born of a virgin and that He died on the cross and He rose from the dead and ascended to heaven and reigns and is returning and, and I go to heaven. Well, here's the key. You must trust Christ for your salvation alone and reject any works of your own as having any contribution to your salvation. Doesn't matter how many times you went to church, doesn't matter how many humanly good deeds you did, doesn't many, matter how many times you took the Mass, for example, in a Catholic situation, doesn't matter how many times you went to confession, it doesn't matter how bad you felt about the sins that you did, it doesn't matter how many rosaries you said, it doesn't matter uh, any of those things, uh, th those, none of those things individually and all of those things collectively cannot save a person. And here again, that's a wonderful biblical and gospel point that John MacArthur is making when it comes to salvation. A lot of people believe that you must trust in Jesus Christ and you must have some kind of good works on top of it, which is what Catholicism is all about. It is Christ plus works. It is Christ plus your deeds. It is believing plus doing something. If you add anything to Christ, then you have no gospel. If you add anything to believing in Christ, in Christ alone, then you have no salvation. The key is to believe in Christ, in Him alone. Deny your works, deny your self-righteousness, and put your faith in Him because He alone, without anything else, can save you. A person will be saved by faith in Christ alone, recognizing that in my flesh dwells no good thing. By the deeds of the law will no flesh be justified. You can't earn your way in by being good. You can only receive salvation when you know you're not good enough and you cry out to be forgiven of your sin by the sheer grace of God based upon the, the death and the provision of Christ on the cross, okay? Your good works won't save you. The amount of time you went to church will not save you. The fact that you are born into a Christian family, the fact that you are associated with some church, the fact that you are some kind of missionary somewhere or you did some kind of good works for the church or donated money to Christianity, none of that will save you. The only thing that will save you is Christ in Christ alone. That is the reason why the reformers argued during the Reformation that faith alone in Christ alone, apart from any works, will save you to the glory of God alone. Oh, one last thing. Uh, okay. I meant to add this. I am leaving the Catholic Church and hope to join this church. We welcome you. <laughs> now, you folks over there, you folks over there, you need to open your arms to, to Charlie, right? And let him know we love having him here. You understand the gospel, right, the way I explained it? Yes. All right, Charlie. Never too late, right? You're the youngest looking 75. What happened to me? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> okay. All right. It is so amazing to hear that after 75 years, Charlie is finally leaving the Catholic Church to join a gospel preaching in a Bible-believing church. As I was listening to this Q&A throughout this week and preparing for this video, I've been thinking about one thing, and that one thing is for us to be clear when it comes to the presentation of the gospel, and even more so clearer when someone asks us about salvation. We need to be clear, concise, and point them to the Savior, to Christ, in Christ alone. It is the same thing that the Apostle Paul and Silas did in Acts chapter 16 when the Philippian jailer asked them, what must I do to be saved? And Paul said, believe on Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That is it. No works, no rituals, no pilgrimage to Mecca, simply believe in Him and Him alone. Now, as I said at the outset of the video, there are a lot of people involved in religions who think that there are multiple ways that lead to heaven, multiple paths that lead to God, but that's a lie. In this next clip I'm gonna share with you, it's a young lady arguing with a street preacher, telling him that all religions lead to God, all religions lead to heaven. Watch this. Why can't there be multiple gods that we can believe in? And why can't there be multiple ways Good. into heaven? Good, there can be. But you see what you've gotta answer, ma'am, is why would you believe in heaven? Have you ever been there? Neither have I. So in light of the fact you've never seen heaven, why would you as a thinking human being believe there's a heaven? I mean, why? Through, through the Christian faith, is, is there not the 
the communication that if you are, you do live by the faith, you get, and you are forgiven, you go to heaven. Yes, but ma'am, my being convinced that I'm going to heaven is based on one thing, the trustworthiness of Jesus Christ. Because I've never been to heaven. So I don't know if there's a heaven or not from my experience. And I can promise you, Austin is not heaven. Okay? It's a very nice place, but it's not heaven. Right. Okay? So you see, ma'am, when it comes to heaven, you're going to have to trust somebody the same way I'm going to have to trust somebody. And the question is, why do you trust whoever it is you trust? So because Muhammad contradicts Jesus, and because Jesus contradicts the avatars of Hinduism, and because the avatars of Hinduism contradict Siddhartha Gautama Buddha, and because they all contradict Baha'i faith, you've got to be on the intellectual level of a cockroach if you say they're all saying the same thing. They're not, ma'am. They're contradicting each other. So either they're all wrong or one of them's right. And now you've got to study the Gospels for yourself, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you've got to ask yourself, does the evidence point to Jesus being the truth? And if it does, trust him. But if the evidence is that Christ is a liar, you'd be a fool to trust him. Do not trust Jesus if the evidence is he's a fraud, he's a hypocrite, he's a liar. Don't trust him. But if the evidence is he's totally reliable, if the evidence is he really did die and rise from the dead, then you can trust him and he's the one who promises heaven to everybody who puts their faith in him. This is it for this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, share it and give it a like and let me know what you think in the comment section below because this helps YouTube share this video with a much broader audience. Guys, we're done with this video and I personally think this is amazing. Based on the fact that I honestly do not believe in Catholic, I don't believe in their worship. I feel it's wrong personally. I'm a Pentecostal, I don't believe in it. And mm, beat me if you can, but like I don't believe in it. And honestly, I'm happy for him for actually like saying he wants to follow where he feels they are preaching salvation. But I believe because it's evident that you can't actually go to heaven by you walking. How do I argue this thing with Muslims that I I honestly don't feel anyone can deserve heaven. Like you can't walk for it. It's not possible. Like if you spend eternity walking for it. I don't believe you can do good now and you commit sin later, then you do good now, commit sin later, and you say my good deeds will surpass my bad days and I'll make heaven like I don't believe we go to heaven based on our deeds. I believe we make heaven based on our faith in Jesus. But he promised us heaven. Like he told us that he's going to prepare a place for us in heaven. And he told us that those who believe in him shall inherit eternal life. Like he made those claims that he is still alive. Quran confirms it. That he's still alive and he's coming back again. So like blame me by putting my faith on him. Like I'm putting my faith on him because I believe he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to God except through him. So that's what my faith is gonna be and uh, that's what my death is on because I believe he is the only way to heaven, the only way to God. Like I don't know of any other way. But guys, tell me what you think about this. You guys should like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.